Shoveling sidewalks, clearing paths at churches across the community. Pastor Matthew Chavez has a lot weighing on his mind and heart. Just the last couple of weeks, we've lost uh, four members of our community, our church, and also my actual family. Chavez says one of his cousins died of an overdose from a drug laced with fentanyl. And then um, well, on my way to the candle vigil, my mom gets a call from my other cousin saying that three more died and that's where everybody's seeing on the news. One of the five found dead in this apartment complex Sunday, his other cousin, two others, their spouses. Police waiting on autopsies to confirm saying cocaine laced with fentanyl could be what killed them. So to think that you're above this, this could happen to anybody in any family. Beyond his relatives, Chavez is seeing this epidemic ruin families across the Denver community. Just in this past two years, I've probably buried 10 to 15 friends and family members. Each victim, each vigil, Chavez provides support and prayer to the grieving loved ones left behind. But he says the community needs to do more to stop the overdoses from happening altogether. As leaders in the community, pastors, and we need to hold our community accountable. We need to hold government officials accountable.